Extreme Collectibles here. It's that time. Extreme Arrivals in May. If you haven't watched this segment before, this is about the upcoming pieces that I have scheduled to be delivered in the upcoming month. So in May 2019, I have a lot of pieces coming, as I normally do. As a reminder, some of these pieces are uh, scheduled to come, doesn't mean they will. We're actually going to even go through a few that were supposed to arrive in April, and even a few more that were supposed to arrive in March, but never did. About 25% of the time, I would say they don't arrive in the month that's planned. But instead of talking about it, let's just jump right in. Extreme Collectibles here with Extreme Arrivals in the month of May 2019. These are the pieces scheduled to come in in May in 2019 and some of the other stuff that we have going on. So first, uh, I've started my Magicase assembly as you know. I was going to do a Magicase uh, assembly video, but all the ones I have are huge. So I'm having a little... That's, <laughs> here's that, that's what she said joke. Uh, so I'm having a little bit of trouble. I do have a smaller one, I'm just not ready to build it. So that might be put on the back burner for a while. I'm also going to eventually do a review, but in short, they're awesome. There's, there's your review. Uh, but I'll continue to build them, probably one or two displays like this a week, because they do take a good two, three hours to do properly, and I don't have much uh, spare time. So after that's all done, we're probably looking at uh, mid to late summer, a room tour. And we'll do it in sections, because otherwise it would be like a four-hour video. Also, really excited in May, uh, I'll be traveling a couple times. I was uh, just in Chicago last week, but uh, going out of the country again, uh, some sponsored people are taking my wife and I to uh, Mexico, so there will be people at my house, be warned. Plus, I have cameras all over. Uh, really exciting. I think I'm traveling like every three weeks for like five months. And then uh, lastly, with the whole Prime 1, uh, slash sideshow debacle. Uh, Mr. X and uh, Mr. Ryder have decided to do a debate. Each one's going to take a side of what they think is going on. So that will launch sometime in May. But most importantly, these are the pieces that I have coming. Really excited because I, I, I will review all of these. They may not air right away unless it's a brand new piece. Then I typically try and air it as soon as possible because if you're not first, you're last. Uh, Ricky Bobby said it. So with that, let's dive right in. So my first piece here is uh, something I can't even pronounce, but it's a tiger. I, I purchased this because at my office I have an animal display of three or four different animals on a, uh, a filing cabinet. Not a filing cabinet, but a filing table that look really cool. And I'm really excited about this. This is not the exclusive. I have one with a tree branch that comes below it. But yeah, I think it's cool, and I've never bought from this company. It is distributed by Sideshow, though. Next, super excited if it comes, but it's supposed to be coming even though I haven't seen any updates, Mortal Kombat 10 Scorpion by PCS. So the Sub-Zero is supposed to follow in June, fingers crossed. This guy has been out for about two years. I think Mortal Kombat 11, the video game, just came out, so they're really behind the eight ball. But I think this piece looks fabulous. I, able, I was able to nab the exclusive, so there's a number of switch outs. I will be reviewing him, and hopefully Sub-Zero follows. I'm a little worried of how they're going to look with Goro, because Goro's one-third. I have Goro one third uh, reviewed on my YouTube channel, shameless plug, if you want to check that out. Next piece I actually just got a shipping notice was Batman XE. Uh, I got the exclusive from Prime One. I canceled the collectors from Sideshow because it was delayed so much, and Prime One now has the economy shipping. So hopefully this will come very soon. I saw some in-hand pictures, and it looked absolutely fabulous. He's going to look awesome next to Mr. Freeze, who is actually right behind the camera too. So uh, when I purchased Mr. Freeze, that's when I decided to pull the trigger. Long awaited, this was in the March Arrivals video, I believe, uh, Ecto-1 uh, car by Blitzway. So this is huge, you know, uh, but it'll go right next to my Hot Toys 89 Batmobile, my Hot Toys Tumblr Batmobile, and my Hot Toys uh, Back to the Future DeLorean. So those are some of the few Hot Toys I still have. Really excited to uh, get this piece in because I also have the Blitzway um, 
Ghostbusters, the 416 scale Ghostbusters. Next one is a custom apocalypse. It's been delayed multiple times because the original print was too small. So commissioner, stand-up guy, uh, took uh, the cost and recast, reprinted it, uh, reprototyped for the proper size. This one has a lot of switch outs that are very similar to the X-Men Apocalypse movie, which I personally liked. There's so much haters for the X-Men out there. But a uh, lot of really, really excited about this piece. Pretty stoked. Prime 1 Wonder Woman didn't arrive in April like they said it, it should. I haven't heard any updates, but now it's slotted for May. I only did get the Collector's Edition, which is uh, the Arms Crossed. The Deluxe Edition has a switch out, uh, which, man, I'm like stumbling over words a lot, uh, which is an additional torso. Uh, I did get on the wait list for that. Hopefully it converts. Otherwise, I'll be happy with this because that's probably what I'd pose it in anyway. Next one I'm really nervous about. This is a company I've never bought from more, from before. They specialize in Predator products. Custom, uh, quarter scale, Predator vs. Wolverine diorama. Thankfully, excuse me, I was able to get into this really early on, so I paid about three or 400 less than it's going for now. There's only about 30 of them out there, and I think they're still available for sale. But it's supposed to deliver in May, so we'll see how that looks, but Wolverine vs. Predator, how can you go wrong? This one technically is arriving before this video airs, I think. I'm filming this video about three days before the uh, first day of May, and I think this one comes in before that, so I will uh, review it and videotape it. But part of my one-third DC line, I did get this Cyborg. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm going to review it in a few days. Prime One sale, spring sale, and the economy shipping. Uh, Batman Dark Knight Returns. I nabbed this guy. I've been, I've been holding off for the longest time. I missed out on the ex exclusive, unfortunately, but I just think this is badass. Especially, I just reviewed Batman Hush about 20 minutes ago. I'm really excited to see how this one looks compared to that. Also part of the Justice uh, League line, this is supposed to come in this month, is uh, Batman One Third Justice League Ben Affleck uh, by Prime One. So hopefully this guy comes in. If he's delayed, that's okay because I have too many pieces coming in anyway. And where I'm putting all my Prime 1, 1 3rd DC, I'm not done with that room yet. So it would actually be kind of nice for a delay. On the April arrivals, we had this uh, custom Venom Spider-Man diorama. It didn't arrive in April, so I'm hoping on May. But I haven't heard any updates lately, so that may not be. But again, it'll be worth waiting for. And I know the uh, commissioner is just making sure the quality is good. So really can't uh, bash anyone. I'd rather have a quality statue than it rushed. Another one that was supposed to arrive in April, and I think very similar. I've seen production photos, so I'm very confident this will happen in May. But uh, custom Cyclops. And they also have a brown jacket they're going to throw on with it. So I'm really excited about that. A couple different switch outs. Uh, this is a piece that is made by the same group that made the Beast I reviewed uh, with the Sentinel hand, so go check that out. Again, another one that was supposed to arrive, but uh, just waiting on the distributor for shipping. I uh, it took quite a while to get shipping costs, and then I paid, and it didn't ship. So hopefully this comes this next week or so, but Fat Batman. And they just revealed Fat Superman, which I will be buying as well. And they're going to go with all my fatties that I have. Fat Wolverine, Fat Deadpool. This one as well. I think this one I'm going to air today. It's supposed to arrive, arrive the day I'm airing this. Pop Culture Shock, The Howling. I've already seen a few uh, good reviews out there. Super excited about this piece. This is my favorite werewolf movie uh, of all time. I grew up on it. It's one yet that gave me nightmares. And I'm so excited. Can you tell? Harley Quinn is supposed to arrive uh, the first... Uh, the very either in the next few days or the beginning of May. I've been waiting on this guy for a while. Sideshow's premium format. I have a big quarter scale DC line actually right behind the camera as well. The matching Joker that's actually still in the box. I, I need to make sure nothing's broken on that. So she'll look really good matched with him. And then I don't know if you guys noticed yet, but Sideshow's Alien Queen Maquette is supposed to come out. Really excited. I recently reviewed her uh, counterpart, the Alien King. And I'm, I'm super stoked about this piece. I think it's a little overpriced, but we'll see how it is and we'll, we'll do a review so you can you know, kind of formulate your own opinion. Another one is supposed to arrive in April. 
is uh, Doppelganger Custom. Uh, very excited about this piece. Uh, they also just put out that Hellboy, Hellboy on Throne statue, which I nabbed. Uh, hopefully it comes any day now. Another one I haven't checked up lately, but last update was May, was a custom Drax piece. Uh, especially with the release of Endgame last week. I'm really excited. I also have the XM Star-Lord and Groot and Rocket to go with this. I just need to, them to make a Gamora that I really enjoy. And believe it or not, that's it. In a good way. I just realized I have a couple more and I ran upstairs to have a cinnamon roll. So, uh, first right here, this one was in the uh, February arrivals, the March arrivals, the April arrivals, and I'm really hoping it comes in May. Custom Cyclops for Sentinel. Another one that was actually shipped to the wrong collector, and I'm waiting for a response, uh, but I, I do trust the, the person doing it, so I'm not too worried, is a Christopher Reeve Superman. Should get that in the month of May. And then I picked up Batman Noel from Prime One's May sale, or spring sale, whatever it was, 660 bucks shipped, so really excited about that. I also got Batman Beyond, uh, the XE. I've been uh, waiting for that. I got that on the spring sale for about the same price. Really excited to add that to my one-third DC line. And then for three hundred bucks, three hundred and fifty dollars shipped, I got a quarter-scale Splinter because I have all the turtles. I have Bebop, Rocksteady, very uh, nostalgia, it, nostalgic to my uh, childhood. So. I uh, pulled him, the trigger on him just last night actually, but he, he should uh, get here pretty quick. And then lastly, I promise this is the last one, uh, Flashpoint Batman. Again, got him from Prime 1 with the economy shipping, got the uh, X version, so really excited. So now we're going to transition back to the original video that didn't have this little segment I added in. Hopefully the transition's okay. So that's everything I have coming. I'm going to review every single piece. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this segment. I know this segment and the one I uh, uh, launched yesterday is what I purchased, uh, seem to be some of the most popular hits. And uh, probably the biggest question, and I mean this respectfully, that I get is where does all this money come from? That's kind of, you know, that's a different part of my life, so I don't share that on here. But I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you have coming in the month of April. Uh, it's really cool, or sorry, in the month of May. Let me know what you have coming. Uh, please hit subscribe, please hit like, and really appreciate you guys watching. Take care.